So I'm flipping through there, and it was some kind of a radio talk show, and they're talking about abortion on this talk show, and they're going back and forth about it. And this guy who's the, the progressive, you know, he's basically saying on there, he's saying, well, abortion is fine. You know, and, and basically he's, they're asking this guy, and he was some politician, I don't know what his name was, but this guy who they're talking to, he was a politician, he was some kind of a elected guy, you know, I forget whether he's in Congress or Senate or whatever, but they're asking him about abortion, and they're arguing with him about it, and he's saying, abortion's fine, and, and then uh, they said, well, you know, what if, it, what if it's just 48 hours before the due date? You know, is it okay to go in and kill that child? And he said, yes. Hands down, unequivocally, he said, it's always okay. I support abortion in every case, in every circumstance. You know, that's a woman's right to choose, and, and we can't take away people's rights, and we're not going to, you know, even if you just do it just five minutes before it's born, because once you, once you make that illegal, you're saying it's a, it's a human being, you're going to have to make the whole thing illegal. You know, because where do you draw that line? You know, if it's alive, it's alive. If it's not alive, it's not. And by the way, you know, when the Nazis killed all the Jews, I don't know if you know this, they said that they weren't human. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, if you've studied World War II, they said that the Jews were not human. That's how they justified killing. They said that they were a lower evolved uh, uh, species or that they were more like the animals and so forth. And so that's what wicked people have always said when they murder, you know. And just like now they murder babies and they say it's not human. It's not alive. It's nonsense. Of course it's alive. Right. The Bible says they bring up children from the birth and from the womb and from the conception. Okay? The Bible teaches in, in Matthew 1, it says, Behold, a virgin shall be with child. Yeah, a virgin shall be with child. And then in Isaiah, the exact same quote is, Behold, a virgin shall conceive. Because conceiving and being with child are synonymous. In the Bible. I like that term, by the way. I like that better than pregnant. Let's use God's term. She's with child. Amen. That's what the Bible uses for pregnancy. It says, like, she was with child. Amen. I wonder if abortion would be the same in America if we still use that English term. Maybe if people would have been reading this Bible and, and preaching this Bible, <laughs> and instead of this word pregnant, you know, I'm not against the word, but it's not in the Bible. I wonder if everybody just called it, oh, she's with child. Oh, okay, well, she went and had abortion and aborted the child. Killed the child. You know, that would, that would change the perspective here. And this man literally is saying that even 48 hours before the due date of the nine month to term, hey, go ahead and kill it. Okay, and my blood is just boiling when I'm listening to this. I screamed and yelled at that radio. I was out in the middle of the desert, nobody could hear me. But I was yelling at the radio, I was calling that guy all kinds of names and everything. But I'm listening to it, and basically, this is what they asked him. This is when I really started yelling at him. This is what they asked him next. They say to him, well, what if a baby is born prematurely? Let's say it's only seven months into the, you know, seven months gestational. What if that baby is born, okay, because it's actually two months younger than the other one. And what if it's born and maybe the parents just didn't want the gender that it was born or they just, maybe the baby had some health problems or whatever. Would you give the parents the right to kill that child? And he said, yes. He said, yes, that's their choice. I'd give it to the parents. <laughs> okay. Is that unbelievable today? But that's what people, that's the kind of stuff, and you say, oh, well, that's not true. Nobody thinks that. Well, that's what this guy said. Okay. And, and even if you can say, well, nobody thinks that, what is the difference between doing it two minutes before or two minutes after? And literally, abortion, there was an abortion doctor in the news a few weeks ago. He got thrown in jail because he was killing them after they were born. So isn't that a hip hypocrisy of our nation that will throw the guy in jail for killing it two minutes later, two minutes before it would have been funded by the government, it would have been paid for by the government. You know? And I don't care what, what your political beliefs are. This has nothing to do with politics. This is about being a human being. And I'll tell you something. What kind of a person could do that job? And I remember, you know, I've always been against abortion my whole life. That's the way I was raised. But I didn't really fully understand it until my son was born. When my first son was born, and I stood there and watched him come out and saw that newborn baby, my son Solomon, I literally, one of the first thoughts I had was like, how could anyone harm this child? 
How would anyone have the heart to harm this child? You know, and it just blew me away. Just what kind of a monster? And I'm sorry, that's the only word for it. You have to be a beast that's right. to be able to kill a baby. You know, and just be a monster to do that. And, and yet, that is exactly what they are telling us is called choice. You know, and you can call it whatever name you want. It's murder. And, and calling it anything less than murder, let me call you something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what you are, a compromiser. Okay, and any pastor were called anything less than murder is right. a compromiser. That's right. That's it's right. killing a human being. And people will justify.